Looks like access to the main laboratory is locked. I'll need to get those doors open. Uh, okay, doors, yeah, got it. Uh, Cecil, was it? You finally introduced yourself after the third mission and I can't even remember it? I gotta ask, why are there scientists seven feet tall and built like linebackers? <laughs> this lady looks like her father was half refrigerator. What's up guys, welcome back to The Spy Who Shrunk Me, which has absolutely nothing to do with The Spy Who Shagged Me. Like, I feel like there's a really important distinction to make because there was a little confusion among you guys. Like, I get the feeling if these henchmen had the choice between knocking boots with Audrey Smooth Spy or getting shrunk down to the size of a Pez dispenser and flushed down a toilet, they'd probably go with the first option. Wow, it's dark and it goes on deep. That's what she That's said. That's what she's. <laughs> He almost beat me to it. So, am I in the wrong place? Because it's not dark down here at all, Audrey. It's incredibly well lit. <laughs> Is your brain still a little shrunk? Like, some of you guys might remember the last time we snuck into some kind of evil Russian office, which was actually a front for some evil Russian invasion, and now we're picking up having broken into their evil Russian vault to look for their evil Russian secret secrets. And what are you willing to bet it's behind a totally indiscreet, heavily armored vertical door? <laughs> My spy senses are telling me not to press the happy button. Yeah, my Russian is a little rusty. There's just as much of a chance that this opens the door as it nukes Paris. <laughs> I think we'll save that for later. I would assume we're still armed with the essentials. Good, we still have our it's banana. Oh, high noon him real quick. Gotcha. Yeah, I wasn't ready to deal you out some potassium quite yet. Oh no. I, I really don't want to have to shrink myself to climb underneath stuff. I don't trust this shrink ray. It's got some minor adverse effects on the people who get hit by it. You'd think that sneaking past trip lasers would be like one of the number one things that a spy would be equipped for, but no, I, I've got a stopwatch to time how quickly it fries me. I've got a TV remote equipped with batteries and band-aids. Would this actually work? Oops. Nope, nope, that sure doesn't work. Great. I don't think the banana or the airbag mines would have helped either, so I think we're just gonna keep running now. There's no way they'll find me up here, right? Oh, I need to open the blast doors. Well, this looks just as likely to launch a nuke or phone Batman. I could use Batman's help right about now, come to think of it. Maybe I'll just become a bush. No, 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 no. Did you not hear me? I said I'm a bush. I'm a bush. No, 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 no. You, you wouldn't you wouldn't shoot a bush, would you? Because as we all know, bushes are incredibly bulletproof. How much ammo did they issue to you idiots? Go away. Oh my god, did that just work? You just kind of gave up. Maybe he did run out of ammo. <laughs> I'm not ready to move just yet. I, I think they're still searching. There's no way. It was fun while it lasted. Holy crap, Audrey. You really are a smooth spy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Bush. I, I really appreciate that. Okay, so how do we deal with this exactly? Oh, we just unplug it. I figured there was going to be some hacking involved or something. <laughs> I can't believe that guy just packed it in for the day. Well, at least we know that there's one more out there to avoid. Right now, I need to flip a switch. This is definitely not as difficult as it looks. I'd like to introduce you guys to Igor. He's 37, has a wife, two kids. It's a little hard of hearing, but he managed to get this job because he knows a guy who knows a guy, and he doesn't really know what he does here, other than roam around and mumble stuff in Russian, shoot the random bush every now and then. But he's overall a good person. Down you go. I mean, he, he will be a good person over there. Uh, am I the bad guy here? I'm probably not the bad guy here. Okay, so we should have... Oh, those are the doors I was opening. W what's up with these doors then? Is there really nothing? I gotta try pressing the button. Oh, I can't press the button. 
Okay, I guess the happy button isn't for me. Well, <laughs> fine. See if I care. What have we got waiting for us down here other than a bunch of imminent death. Great. Lasers. Just what I needed. Can't they think of something less cliche? Yeah, well, it's like I said, you brought a banana. Mirrors would have been a whole lot more useful. Do you think these are the dice you up into meaty little cubes type of lasers? Or the have henchmen who think you're a bush chase you type of lasers? <laughs> because that's a very distinct difference. I don't know if I want to risk shrinking myself down for one of those two options. But I mean, look at this. I don't think there's enough space there for big me. Time to slip under Yeah, the we radar. might need to do a little something like this. This seems perfectly doable. Right, I can just walk underneath these now? Okay, yeah, this is definitely doable now. <gasps> oh, so worth it. Just, just, nobody look at me the wrong way. The last thing I want to do is just explode like Igor. Careful, here we go. Okay. I am done being small now. Good, good, great. Everything is perfectly fine. No adverse effects. Audrey, your nips okay? I'm gonna assume her nips are just fine. <laughs> I'll be taking more of this and... Come on, man. What is this? <gasps> Who goes to work and is like, oh crap, we forgot to turn off the laser tunnel again. I just gotta see what the thought process is. Like, what would a banana do yeah, against all nice these this time. lasers? It got evaporated. Great. <gasps> well, now it smells like burnt banana, banana in here. Isn't that just lovely? <laughs> careful. Be careful. Go, 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 go. I keep thinking that it's just gonna swish right through me as if I'm not paying attention when I totally am. Ooh. Okay, now, big again. We don't wanna fall through any cracks. All right, Settle. Three rows of lasers avoided. What's up next? According to our scans, there is a huge descent down after the ramps. Let me guess. Yes, it's the only entrance, and it's full of lasers. <sighs> okay, it's not the only entrance, though. There's, there's an entrance right here, and if I was equipped with, I don't know, a battering ram, or, or even a lockpick, or just a, a strong pair of boots, I could probably get that open, but no. <laughs> Instead, I gotta do this nonsense. Oh, come they on, you gotta be kidding me. me How do I... There's no way to time this, is there? I, I might be able to go right down through the middle. <laughs> totally intended to do that. I didn't pee a little, you peed a little. Shut up. Now, to effortlessly do that again, just to prove that I know what I'm doing. Another happy landing. <gasps> All right. Now we're talking. Okay, uh, this looks like an exit that I can interact with. Yeah. Mission accomplished. I was neither a ghost nor a pacifist, so I apparently get a C, but I'd rather get a C than a laser C-section. Everything is clean, and there are a lot of nerds here. Ah, a secret Soviet laboratory. I knew it. This must be where Ayakov is. Okay, new orders, Audrey. Find Ayakov. We need him alive. Shrink him down and find something to stuff him in. Weird goggles, lab coat. You saw him on the train. Looks like access to the main laboratory is locked. I'll need to get those doors open. Uh, okay, doors, yeah, got it. Uh, Cecil, was it? You finally introduced yourself after the third mission and I can't even remember? I gotta ask, why are there scientists seven feet tall and built like linebackers? <laughs> this lady looks like her father was half refrigerator. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, you can tell they're nerds because they're hunched over and they pick their nose. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh my god. What am I doing right now? I gotta go pick up some spy tickles. Spy spy tickles? What are these? Could be like spy testicles? What's this then? Spy tickles allows the user to look through solid objects. So I can use these to see guards through walls. Neat. Yeah, I'll give it up. That is actually pretty neat. But I gotta ask, why would you call them spy tickles? Just call them x-ray glasses like everyone else. Having spy tickles on your face sounds 
<laughs> kind of gross. It's the little things. Yeah, yeah, you, we got your little thing and your spicicles. <gasps> Should I keep killing them? Do I really need to do that? Oh, okay, it's gonna be real difficult to determine the nerds from the people I actually need to be concerned about. Uh, unlock doors to the main lab. Oh, that's this way. Okay, I, I was going in the right direction. Why do I not have anything that could deal with stuff like this? <laughs> Can't exactly hit it with a banana. Or can I? I wonder. Watch your step. Nope. Nope, that had about the effect it should. Oh, this is a paper shredder. Oh, oh. Well, conveniently, we have a volunteer. Gotcha. I was gonna say, I haven't seen this before. Oh, oh, God, it's in my eyes. Now I definitely regret not wearing the spy goggles. Did you guys know that nine out of 10 scientists agree that 65% of the people watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel right now? It's a bigger mistake than she is. You should probably fix that and follow me on Twitter at the Captain Sauce while you're at it. I still have no idea what these friggin' signs say, but I do know get a to get of rid this. of you guys whenever I can. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up in a giant mess. Speaking of mess, are we underneath an airport or something? What is this? I'm supposed to sabotage the male missile assembly line, but it looks like somebody got here before me. Was this your doing? Go on with you. Jesus, what was that? Was there like a horse-sized mouse underneath the floor? Or am I losing my mind? I definitely just saw something crawl under there. Huh. Okay. Uh... Note to self, keep, oh, yep, yep, what the? It's got hair. Like, like, like a wig hair, not like body hair. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <gasps> I don't wanna screw around with any experiments. Maybe if I wait here, I can get a better look at it. It's gotta come back, right? I don't have time for that. I'm a secret agent, not a rat babysitter. No bad guys here? Oh, that's not good. This is their, like, super Russian that they're working on. Definitely looks super squat. <laughs> I'm liking the beards, though. Oh. Oh, they're making dwarves. I'm not sure about the wings, but... I, I, hey, 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 hey. No touch of my butt. <gasps> what does this say? Build vodka resistant super soldier. Test subjects encased in beer filled containers. Subjects stable and in continuous drunk state. Blood tests reveal ethanol level of 400 milligrams per DL with no sign of respiratory or other distress. Specimens docile but angry when taken out of alcohol based stupor. <gasps> or subjects available. Um. You see nothing. Guards! Guards! Wait, what? Oh! Here's a new perspective. I was trying to learn about your freaking work, idiot. Okay, okay, here, you go in the bag. And then I'm just gonna take this with me. I stuffed him in a hand. Bag. Okay. Okay. Wait, we I got found the a way villain. to get him to us. But it requires a trip even further down the secret facility. If I'm right, you should take an elevator down exactly ten levels. Splendid. Okay. At what point does the giant wig rat come into the picture? Because he's down there. We've definitely seen him. <gasps> Actually, I might have seen vents around here somewhere. Just don't remember wait oh wait, here they are. Yeah. So maybe I can do a little something like this and go find ourselves a freaky wig rat? No. This just brings me to the other side of the corridor. Completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then that's endlessly disappointing. I, I, I really wanted to pick a fight with a rat Why don't we just step uh, oh Apparently can't shrink you guys. That's disappointing. I was gonna chuck him into a <laughs> paper shredder, but I guess we're leaving It's an easy enough mission again. I gotta see because I keep getting spotted and I, I gotta kill people. Oh Wow, it's like a huge library. I think this is the secret Soviet archives. It must be where they keep sending those pesky mail missiles from. You'll want to stuff Iokov into one of them. 
Oh, that's all, is it? Just take the purse full of crazy scientists and then load it onto a missile surrounded by henchmen. <laughs> Great. There's no way I can run and gun this. As much as I would love to, trust me, it's my preferred method of playing this game. And I have no doubt there are a few paper shredders and toilets down here. God have mercy on the guy who confused the two, but we're gonna have to take a bit of a stealthy approach. Jesus! Metal detector. Great. Sure, that's not gonna get me in a whole lot of trouble. You saw nothing. You heard nothing. Yeah, that's right. It's probably just a, a fly that came through with a metal plate in his head. We need to burn Bolskovich's autobiography and find a key for the locked room. And let me guess, you're not reading the autobiography in your spare time. You're walking around with the key. So I've got two shots to deal with you. <laughs> and then the autobiography should be over here somewhere. I don't know how easy it's gonna be for them to spot me. Like, I'm small, but I'm not invisible. Oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> Definitely not the perspective I wanted of this guy. There are so many copies. How am I supposed to burn them? I don't have fire. I guess I could deal with you. I don't want to snipe you from this far away, though. Like, how am I actually going to deal with him, though? Because if I'm small and he's small, are we just going to get into a, a small little slappy fight? How about this? We know he's going to go up these stairs. Maybe Let's we can just hit him with moon. an airbag mine. <laughs> They're apparently normal human size, and you're not going to see me if you know what's good for you. I said you're not going to see me if you know what's good for you. <sighs> Didn't know what was good for him. <laughs> He's fine. I'm sure not all of his bones are broken. We've taken that key now. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You just tripped at the bottom of the stairs. Good. He's not going to take the key back. I got to make myself big. A targeting chip. Definitely in the library. Okay, so I need to get a targeting chip and I need to burn this, but I still don't have fire. Oh, oh, okay. Come on now, Audrey, I know you're smoking hot, but I don't think you can make fire from your fingertips. <laughs> Debatable. Okay, so you just go about your, go about your day. Come on, dude, this is what you get. <laughs> One shot left. Better make it count. Uh, oh, that's probably what we're aiming for, huh? Yeah, this looks important. Well, luckily for us, we concussed, shrunk down, and burned the one guy that was guarding this section. <laughs> so hopefully this is smooth sailing. There's gotta be some ammo around here somewhere, right? Someone's gotta have a couple AA batteries. Unless you wanna keep facing the wrath of Polly Pockets. <laughs> this is just the worst. This has to be the right direction, right? Don't tell me this is just gonna loop around to the stairs again. You've gotta be kidding me. I need to find the targeting chip, but I need a targeting chip to target the targeting chip. Oh, never mind. We're good, we're good. Okay, it's a little difficult to keep a solid perspective when you're like three inches tall. Now, am I gonna be tall enough to open this door? Probably not. Right? This is what the key must be for. Okay, well, fingers crossed this doesn't need juice to undo what it did. Wonderful! Okay, everything is coming up Millhouse. We even got ourselves a targeting chip. Unfortunately, the male missiles need a reprogrammed targeting chip, or you'll accidentally send Iacop straight back to enemy hands. Okay, so I need to send the package to Cuba, send the package to London, send the package to Washington. How am I supposed to send the same package to three different places? Or am I supposed to pick? Uh, I don't have a preference. <laughs> Cecil, you're supposed to tell me what to do. What's the point of all these vending machines if none of them ever use them? What's wrong with you? You're too good for a... Lenin latte? <laughs> okay, never mind. That actually does sound kind of disgusting. <laughs> I'm assuming that if we can just get down over these stairs, we should find whatever it is we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty evil. 
All right, well, we're in business. I'll be taking these. Oh, come on now. Help, help, help a girl out. Help. You gotta be kidding me now. I, I know I can take a oh, fine screw it here. I'll just. <laughs> Are there even any guards down here? Are you serious? All the guards are <laughs> making sure that the lobby and the vending machine are secure, but they don't care about the nuclear missile silos. This is just <laughs> next level of confidence. So, oh, I might need to make a choice, right? Cuba, London, or Washington? Probably not Cuba. If we send him back to the communists, I would imagine they'd be pretty mad. Washington or London? Uh, I think we both have kind of Londonish accents. Yeah, go with London. Why not? Just uh, goods. Is is that right, Cecil? You got anything to say before I do this? <laughs> I'm taking out the package, and I'm putting in the tiny scientist. Command will intercept the missile over London skies. Well done, Audrey. Oh. Splendid. Okay. Mission accomplished. Kind of curious what would happen if I sent him to Cuba. Audrey, you bloody idiot. Why the hell would you send Iacop to Cuba? Now he's straight back in communist hands. Whoops. Don't shoot the messenger. Ugh. Just, just get out of the archives. I was about to say this is the first mission I'm ever going to finish as a pacifist, and then I remembered the one guy that we tossed into a pile of burning books. <laughs> no such luck. Ooh. We're good? We're good. I got an A anyway. I was never spotted. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of The Spy Who Shrunk Me, guys. And you'll have to let me know if you want to see more. You know, it's like I said, this is a pretty big game. Ironically enough, considering it's about shrinking things. But there are a lot of missions. I, I tried to fit three into this episode. Hopefully that didn't make things too long. But if you do want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video. Let me know. And I'll return for Artificial Insanity. Which sounds extra evil in Russian. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.